welcome to another video. In this one, I want to show you how we can analyze multivariate Excel data using pandas, Python, and an Andrews curve. Let's get started. First, we need to understand what an Andrews curve is. It's based off this equation that I'll put on screen now, but in short, what it does is allow us to take features of some type of product and visually analyze those into clumps. Each of these clumps represents some type of structure in our data set, and we can use this equation whenever we want to analyze a data set for these structures. We can also use this graphing technique whenever we want to find outliers in our data set. This plot here is an example of an Andrews curve using the iris data set. So each of these clumpings just represent the features of each of the different iris plants. But since we're not analyzing flowers in this video, let's talk about a real life application. Let's say that I work in the quality department of a company that makes cables. I have a data set here that would represent the type of features that I would get from the cables in the production process. Going through the data set, we have one will be passing and zero will be failing. We have a quality test overall, so these cables pass and these cables fail. And then we have a lot of process parameters. So we have if the conductor breaks, if there's a fault in the jacket, and a few more. What we can do with an Andrews curve is actually look at data sets of this nature and see if there's any type of structure so we can apply machine learning algorithms later on. And of course, this is just one example. You don't have to apply this to cables. You can apply it to any multivariate data set. So let's go ahead and make an Andrews curve in our text editor. We'll import pandas as PD. We'll say from pandas.plotting. We'll import Andrews curves. And then import matplotlib.pyplot as PLT. Now, if we want to use multivariate Excel data, we'll say Excel file and create a variable name, and set this equal to the path of your Excel workbook. Mine is in the same directory, so I'll just say cable log.xlsx, which is the name of my Excel file. And to create the data frame, we'll say data frame is equal to pandas.read Excel, and then pass in that Excel file. Let's go ahead and print data frame to make sure it's read in successfully. We'll open a command prompt or a terminal. And then to execute, we'll say Python 3 Andrews plot example.py. We get the data frame with no errors, so that means that we have all the packages installed and we've read in the Excel file successfully. Now, how this works is that the Andrews curve considers the first series the most important, the second will be the second most important, and so on. So for us, the quality test is the most important characteristic. However, if it wasn't in the first slot in our Excel sheet, we would need to format it over in our data frame. I've already placed these fields in decreasing order of importance for the overall quality test being true. Also, another important note is that if you have a column that has unimportant data, you need to get rid of it before you run it through your Andrews curve. You can do that with pandas by only selecting the data from your data frame that's important using LOC and ILOC. If you need help on that, I have videos on my channel as well that I'll link in the description. But for now, since I have all the columns in the order of importance, we'll drop down. We'll go ahead and create a figure using PyPlot plt and say figure as a function so this just initiates a figure and now we need to add a figure to it we'll say the figure that we want is the andrew curves we'll pass in our data frame here so df and now we want to group these into two groups if the cable passes and if the cable fails so that is decided in our quality test column one is passing and zero is failing so we'll take this column here and copy it and place it here this just means that we'll easily be able to see if all the passing cables have a certain type of structure. Now all we need to do is say PLT show. We'll save and execute our file again. Now this is the result that we get. We have an Andrews curve that has two different shades for the passing and failing cables. It's very easy to see that there is a structure to this data set. We see that all the passing cables are very clearly inside this inner region right here. They're all clumped together and there's low variability. Then all of our failing cables seem to be very far away from all the passing cables on either side. But what does knowing that there's a structure on this data set mean? That means that we could apply a machine learning algorithm to figure out that structure and to understand the equation that goes behind it. These machine learning algorithms aren't perfect and they will find a pattern even if there isn't any there. However, we know that there is a pattern here because we see it with this Andrews curve. This was just an example of what we can do with an Andrews curve. I hope you see the use in it in identifying patterns in multivariate Excel data. If you have any questions or comments, as always, please let me know. Until next time.